uh, Duncan Scott, James Guy and Matt Richards, who's just 18, uh, won the 4x200 metre freestyle relay, coming it within 0.03 seconds of a world record. Absolutely phenomenal. And Matt's parents, Simon and Amanda, join me now. Those smiles have not moved, I'm sure of it, for how many hours now? Have you spoken to him yet? Yeah, we uh, about half an hour ago, uh, we were able to get a quick FaceTime with him. Um, he was in the dining hall at the Athletes Village, stuffing his face full of sushi, bless him. It's his favourite place in the village. Eating the sea. How was he? I mean, what do you say? He's your 18-year-old who is now world famous. And, I mean, by all accounts, all the sports, everybody's saying that it's his leg in the 4x4 four four that won the gold, essentially. It's him. <laughs> I, I don't think I'd go that far. Um, he, he played a really important part of it, and bless him, we're just thrilled with how he swam. Uh, but, no, it, it's a, a teamwork. They, you've mentioned the four guys. It's really important to mention Callum Jarvis as well, because Callum swam in the heats, which meant we could rest Duncan for the heats and did a tremendous job in, in the heats as well. So it's a team game. You know, uh, Matt gave up his individual swim in the 100 metres, again, because the team needed him to do the, the four by two and be fresh for that. So um, it's very much a, a team GB, obviously. And I think uh, Tom Dean and uh, and Jim, Jim Guy both set Matt up so well for that third leg, for him to be able to start pulling it ahead of the Americans. So, yeah, it is very much down to all four of them. They were, well, five of them actually, including Callum, and they were phenomenal. They really were. What did he say and what did you... Was it just a lot of screaming? I just can't imagine you got any words out. <laughs> no, there was an awful lot of screaming around there. Huge amounts of screaming from everybody. We had um, Simon's mum and dad and his brother and sister-in-law and three nieces and nephews all around the house. The dogs took cover in the crates out in the kitchen because uh, they just didn't know what was going on. So this one, this one usually runs and hides because um, oh, he just like shouting I know he's and he's now very tired. He <laughs> sent you a little picture, didn't he, of the actual gold medal? Yeah. Um, which is just, I mean, how does that make you feel as parents? And what did he say about, what was it? What, what, how has he summed up this whole experience in these last few sort of hours of winning? Uh, he, he's tired um, in terms of, he hasn't stopped since they finished um, the actual race. They've done lots of media stuff, obviously. They've um, had to swim down. They've had to be drugs tested because they all get drugs tested, which is really good. Um, then it's back to the, the village to get something to eat. Um, and then he was saying to the management team that, you know, if he's needed for um, the medley relay in a couple of days, he's available and he's ready to swim again. Yeah, um, he's, he's buzzing, isn't he? Yeah. He just wants to race again now. He just <laughs> he wants just to get wants back to in go the water. <laughs> well, what's extraordinary is that, you know, he's 18. I mean, he's so young. And through lockdown, obviously, training pools were shut. He came up with an extraordinary way, didn't he, in sort of freezing temperatures in his own garden of how to train. What? Tell us about this. I mean, it's an, it might start a whole new craze, as far as I can tell. <laughs> I doubt uh, it. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't claim it. Um, when the first lockdown happened... Um, Way swimming works, the end of each season, they get two weeks um, out of the pool to decompress, to relax, to give their bodies a chance to relax. Um, and every year, by the end of that two weeks, Matt is bouncing off the ceiling because he just loves being in the water. So when the lockdown happened and all the pools closed and we had no idea when he would next be getting into the pool, that was really, really difficult. And we saw online a Dutch open water swimmer. I think her name is Sharon Van Ruendal, but I keep apologising to her because I'm sure I'm probably massacring her name. Um, we saw her doing similar. So we, we bought what was essentially a, a glorified paddling pool. Um, and there you go, you've got That's footage <laughs> of it up. So it was five metres long, three metres wide, uh, a metre and a bit deep. Um, there was 15,000 litres of water into it. Um, we got a harness for him, some bungee cords, um, and attached it to the garage wall. And he spent hour after hour uh, doing that, as you can see there, it's, it's essentially like a, a swimming <laughs> treadmill, if you like. Yeah. Our director's just said it's, it's amazing your garage is still standing with all that strength <laughs> pulling against it. <laughs> Well, we did worry about that, Ramvi, to be fair, and, and the garage hall is still standing, but uh, we did snap a, a bungee cord, which hit him in the back. It's um, because... absolutely <laughs> sensational. Uh, what Did you expect this of him? Uh, or has this taken you by surprise? I think, I think to be fair, when we... When they competed at London Trials, um, the times there were phenomenal. He, he finished third, didn't he, behind um, Dino and, um, and Dunks. 
And so we knew we knew that they were looking good for as a relay team going into into the Olympics. But it, it, you just there are just so many things that could possibly go wrong, you know. And we've been ducking and diving COVID, so you know we really hoped and we we thought it was possibly there, but for it actually to get there is just is phenomenal. It's, it's just it's incredible. What's he like? I mean, I read that like he was sort of five years old when he said, "I'm not wearing armbands anymore." And you thought, "Hang on, we better get him lessons," you know. I mean, yeah. and that doesn't that probably seems like just so it doesn't seem like that long ago to, to parents does it you remember your kids being five like it was yesterday yeah absolutely uh, I, he tells the story very well he's not quite right the way he tells it because he, he was five he doesn't remember, remember it exactly I, I was actually in the pool with him um when he got out and he tottered and across to me. amanda and <laughs> took the armbands off in a, a huff a five-year-old huff and threw them down on the floor <laughs> And looked around and went, nobody else is wearing these. Yeah. And it, all the other kids were older than him. And then he turned and launched himself back into the water where I was, um, at which point my heart was in my mouth and sort of scooped him up. And it was like, well, we need to think about getting some lessons when we get back home. But he, yeah, he just he just has always loved being in the water. He's, he's He just loves the feel of it. He just loves racing. Um, he's just a very... He's a very down to earth lad, um, a very loving lad, but he is so determined and so driven. And when he decides he wants to go and do something, he'll do it. It's he'll him, it it's him. He must get it from somewhere in the family, that mindset. Yeah. But uh, I just, <laughs> I just, <laughs> are you looking at dad there? <laughs> I don't know no, I'm saying definitely me. Oh, he it's definitely you, <laughs> mum. <laughs> uh, now, listen, just before you go, when he comes home, I mean, how will you celebrate and how will you. And like you said, he's down to earth, but this is going to be enormous when he gets... I mean, his life has changed. You know, he is recognisable. He is a hero. Uh, yeah, I, it's a very Gosh, strange sentence, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, it has. Um, but Matt being the, the, the young man that he is, this is the start of the journey. This mm -hmm. is not the end of the story. Um, he's got plans and goals and things that he sets himself um, and he has put his hand up today. He wants to do more swims in Tokyo this week. He's got plans for Paris, which is only three years away. Wow. LA is seven years away. Brisbane is 11 years away. He's well, that's your life mapped water. out then. You know where you're going yeah. on holiday <laughs> yeah. now for the next 10 years. Yeah, yeah. we haven't had a holiday for about Listen. five years now. <laughs> Listen, um, will you give him our love when you speak to him? Uh, and tell him, you know, we are all so proud of him and the whole team, as you say, the whole team has done us all proud overnight. Thank you to both of you uh, uh, for joining you. us. Um, what a great moment for all of us and thank you for sharing him with us. Thank uh, you. Uh, all right, nice to see you both and hope the dog gets a bit of peace as well. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.